Hello and welcome back to Shari no Kuni. And no, sadly, I have not fully recovered yet. I was going through a cold and yeah, I had all the sneeze and the coffin and all of that. And I just whipped out a Resident Evil episode as well because I just wanted to see how well it goes. And it was decent, not perfect yet, but I want to see where my limit is now. I really actually want to find out uh, what it, what actually pains me about the, not the voice, but about what is the thing that causes me to feel so uncomfortable currently when I speak for a long period of time or do different voices or commentating anything that entices my voice. The interesting thing is if I talk normally to other people and stuff like that, it seems to be that I talk differently. And the other thing is, I don't talk as much. I don't nearly talk as much to other people that I actually do here. <laughs> Unless it's a topic I'm totally into, but otherwise I'm kind of a silent one. And yeah, that's why I have to do those ones to actually find out what's wrong with me. So yeah, tomorrow, as I said in my ways in an evil video, I see a specialist again and hopefully the, the last specialist seems to have not found anything severe. I mean, I just need to lubricate my throat. I don't know. I don't even know if I actually talked about this. Oh yeah, there was a video that wasn't going up that, that I recorded in case I got sick and then I forgot to upload it. But here I am and yeah, hmm. How to explain this? Um, yeah, I want to do my voices. I want to see where the itch occurs. I want to see how how to explain it to him as good as I can. And for that, I have to see, um, yeah, what what I can do for that. I mean, oh, it's 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 annoying. It's really annoying if it stops you from doing what is actually fun to you, but you can't do it for the sole reason that. You can't talk, and talking is something I have a really, really huge need recently too. But for me, it's well, it's hard for me to talk to actual people or fight people who just listen to my ramblings and rantings and opinions. And so, YouTube is a good vent for that, more or less. Not the most healthy, I admit, but it's a vent. And by the way, I just recently, while I was sick, I watched Re Zero. I don't know if it this is pronounced right. Re uh, Zero. And that anime must, was was really cool. It must, was magnificent. I really loved it. The first episode was, mm, what's going on? And then the second episode kicked off and I was immediately hooked. And then I watched it in a span of two days. I watched all episodes through and I thought... Wow, this is great. The initial thought that that started it, that I actually wanted to watch it, was the the Emilia meme. I never understood why this was such a huge thing, and I still don't, but that was it what got me into the anime and to actually watch it and I I seriously have the feeling that is that 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 very line just upset the shipping community and that's why it became a me so yeah but totally recommend to watch that anime it has a good pacing it has a satisfying ending and it's only 26 episodes long so well there are so many good points into that i would take it over any shonen so far i mean i the only shonen I still watch is Dragon Ball Super, but only because the pacing is really slow anyway. Well, the pacing is not slow, it is dragged out as hell, and there are already four or five, I think, in all the 20 episodes are already six and more filler episodes that are totally unnecessary. And are pure fan service, but... Uh. Never mind that. You are here to actually watch Shari no Kuni, and I'm just babbling here for about five minutes before I even start. And you could me do a favor while I'm doing so. If 
if my voice sounds different from a couple of previous videos because I have the feeling that my voice is a little bit more waspy than it is when I'm actually healthy. So please give me a hint on that. But what is long will finally be good and we will start. And I totally forgot where we left off. Ow. Okay. I trip on a leg. Someone is holding out of the side of their desk. The boy who had done it exits into the corridor. An innocent look on his face. This is the third since this morning. Huh? Makes me so absent-minded that I fail to notice the changes the next day. A trip on a leg, someone is holding out of the side of their desk. Oh! Oh wait, all I can is the one... Wait, she's looking down, shaking her head in an embarrassed sort of way. I just don't understand. Oh, oh, he's getting bullied now again. It makes me some out that I trip on the leg. Someone is holding out of the side. The boy had done it, exits into the corridor, an innocent look on his face. This is the third since the morning. Is it on purpose? Of course it is. Fucking bullies. No, I'm sure these are all just coincidences. Oh god, he is dense. I'm always too hasty after all. I misunderstand everything. Dot dot. But even if they are just coincidences, three times in one day? Maybe starting to suspect things would be the smarter option here. But it was three different kids. And I've never even talked to them. Suddenly interrogating them would be really rude. Well, I mean, those... Those first dude who wanted to hit on Natsumi was probably some kind of the leader. He is the alpha male, more or less. And he was rejected by... By the girl he wanted. And then he told us to his other beta males. And they are delivering out his punishment. Of some sort, I guess. Besides, what would I even ask them? What do you think you're doing? No, that would be way too haughty. I've gotta put it more softly. Hey, you stuck your foot out, right? Not that would... No, that would be way too stupid. Excuse me, you stuck your foot out just now, didn't you? <coughs> What are you doing talking to yourself here? Uh, this is pretty interesting. Do you talk to yourself a lot? No, not necessarily. Come on, you need to study for the test next period. Oh, that's right. That's right. I've been skipping school all this time, and now we are having a test. I need to make up for lost time. Da, 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 transition! Sorry, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit... Hibbity, hibbity, hibbity. Ding dong. Oh yeah, you can actually hear it. It's time for the test. Dum, dum. I wonder if I can do it. Hi. Okay. Okay then, please move your desk away from the person next to you. Make sure there's at least an entire desk length between your nearest neighbor. You'll do fine. Y yeah. That's to me and I follow the teacher's instructions. You should have nothing except writing materials on your desk. Please pass the test forms to the back of the room. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous, I mean. The people sitting in the front have already gotten their tests. It's taking a while to reach all the way back here. I hope it's easy. Huh? 
I still haven't gotten my test. Uh, is it going to take much longer? Huh? The kid went in front of me has started already. Were there not enough copies or something? Just about to tap the shoulder of the kid in front of me to ask when... Sensei! Teacher! We have an extra! Huh? They took the test away! Start looking around restlessly. Come on, waste your voice and say the teacher that you haven't gotten a test yet. You dickbag! Hey, kids in the bag, stop looking at the other kids. Okay, come on, tell him! Just start your test. I would if I would have a test form, but they didn't give me one. I don't have one. You should have said so earlier. Oh, dumb teachers are almost worse than dumb students. I mean mean students, not dumb. Yes. Oh, come on. Move your lazy ass to him. Oh, I don't know. I'm a little bit aggressive today. Hurry up. Come get it up here. I'd better hurry so, so I can go ahead and start. I received the form from the teacher, then turned back around. I can see a lot of people's... people stifling laughter. The kid sitting in front of me is laughing too. It, it was on purpose. Anyway, I need to get back to my seat and start the test. Freaking outsider! Huh? You smell like crap. I thought people whisper insults to me as I walk back to my seat. Why? Why? Did I do something bad? No, kids are just cruel. Can't think of any reason for this. I tried to read the test paper, but I can't manage it. There are too many tears in my eyes. Oh. Well, the sad thing is, no matter how old this is, this problem persists up until this day in our schools here in Germany. If that isn't a sad thing. I didn't manage to finish the test. I was too busy think thinking about the insulting words and trying to hold back my tears. It's break time now. I'm still in my seat. I just can't take it anymore can't understand why. No matter how much I think about it, it hurts. <sighs> Boy, I'm tired. I think I was really on the ball today. I managed to answer everything at least. What about you, Ken-chan? <laughs> I see. Well, it's no biggie. This is the first time you've taken a test in a while. And hey, they almost didn't even have enough for you. Just got so much on my mind. I run out into the hallway without even thinking about it. Natsumi-chan didn't notice notice it after all. I trip over another outstretched leg. I'm knocked to the ground. I seem to be surrounded on all sides. I look at the boy who had tripped me. It's the same boy who gave the carefree confession to Natsumi-chan yesterday. Hey, what are you doing? You just bummed into me. You are the one who tripped me. Seriously, first you try to cheat on your test, then you don't even apologize after running into people. You're a real piece of trash, aren't you? I... I... 
Don't open your mouth. Your breath smells like shit. Don't come to our school anymore. There are a lot of my classmates in the hallway. Everyone is looking at me strangely. I... Why? What have I done? I still feel like crying even after everyone has left. My fears have become reality. Yep. The day after that. I'm talking to Natsumi-chan in the back of the room. Some bullies come over to us. They were the same people who had surrounded me yesterday. One of them pinches his nose and speaks in an exaggerated fashion. Higuchi-kun-sa, Hey Higuchi-kun, would you mind coming with us for a second? What? They are acting a lot more polite than yesterday, but that's definitely on purpose. Their eyes are filled with venom. I'm sure they'll end up trying something funny if I go with them. But if I don't go with them, they'll do something here. And in front of Natsumi-chan. And that would be bad because you don't want to feel weak in front of her? There's, there's some place for... for uh, this is the wrong kind of pride I think you try to protect here. And that would be even worse because of the wrong pride. Okay, I go. Oh, Sasuga Higuchikun. Skiai ga ii ne. Oh, excellent, Higuchikun. You're quite the understanding fellow. They all speak in unison. One of them fling their arm over my shoulder like I'm their buddy. Aha! Chota, mina! Excuse me, everyone! Natsumi-chan speaks up. Ken-chan o doko ni tsurete iku tsumori? Where do you plan on taking Ken-chan? She must have realized how strange the atmosphere was. Chotto soto ni dete hanashi o shiyo to omotta dake da yo. We just want to go outside and have a nice friendly chat is all. I decide to speak up myself. That's right, Natsumi-chan. We've been getting along well lately. Oh, don't lie in her face! <laughs> oh. I put my arm around her shoulder too. The other bodies look a bit surprised. Then disgusted. Kenta. Soka. Nanka can't you I see. I'm sorry. I must have misunderstood something. She scratches her head. Natsumi chan is the one person I can't stand to have know that I'm being bullied. Why? It's natural for me to think that way. Yeah, Ikoka. Alright, let's go. Yeah. He's getting beaten up, isn't he? Yep! They smack me on the side of the face! So I collapse on the ground in front of the school gate. Great teacher observation! Yay! Teacher! So am I right? Dust flies everywhere. I can taste sand. <laughs> What the hell? You think we're buddies or something? They kicked me in the belly. Don't touch me with those filthy hands! Who started it? What? Me, me, Hey, worm! Someone speaks. You're a worm, so you better roll around on the ground and act like one. He holds my head down and rubs it against the ground. You are pretty full of yourself thinking you can just talk to Natsumi-chan like that? 
Why is it wrong for me to talk to Natsumi-chan? It isn't wrong. Well, you wanna go at it, punk? I'm sorry. I respond with a sob. Apparently, that was what they had been looking for. Dusty! <laughs> How lame! <laughs> they all laugh above me. They all start beating up on me together. Great! They feel so strong because they have the upper hand. I curl up into a little ball and miserable. My body is burning all over. This pain is trying to tell me something. It's all my fault. If only I weren't such a coward. Yeah, it's all because I tried being friends with Natsumi-chan. I didn't understand why they were hitting me at first. But it hurts. It hurts, so it must be true. What? I mean, I can't even move. I'm sure it's all my fault. Maybe these tears will stop if I can just admit it. Oh god, really? The next morning, I'm near my house at the spot where I usually meet with, meet up with Natsumi-chan. She's right on time today. That's pretty rare. She waves at me, trying to get me to hurry up. Oh, sorry! It took too long! The sorry... Can't look her in the eyes. Oh, Can't just keep being late like that, can we? She's got a huge smile on her face. For some reason, as always. Uh, I'm not feeling well today, actually. I'm going to take today off. Eh? Her smile instantly disappears. Why? Why do I know? Not feeling well? Y yeah. Do you... Do you have a cold? She places her hand against my forehead. I panic and brush her hand off out of reflex. <sighs> it doesn't look like you have a fever, though. What happened? What happened? Sorry. Oh. I run away, trying to escape. Kenta! But she is fast as the wind. I'm skipping. School, that is. I'm alone at the riverside, clutching my knees and thinking. Thinking about the boys who had bullied me school in general, and Natsumi-chan. I actually hadn't wanted to see Natsumi-chan this morning. It's so sad that this is still a thing in today's advanced technology schools. I mean, ah, That's why schools should have total supervision cameras all over the place. To, uh, to actually gather evidence upon, upon this. School should be a place where you can feel safe and where, sh where you should be able to learn in peace. But that's still not possible for some odd reason. They say children are the future, but if the children fuck each other up by beating them into a trauma, what kind of future can that be then? Did I already read this? I think. But I just couldn't help it. I kept thinking about her waiting for me. Like we had promised. And my feet just kinda took me there all by themselves. What am I even what am I even doing here? I mean, I had promised her that we would go to school together. Bet she hates me now. Watch the surface of the water, losing myself in thought. You know, if you think about it, I wasn't really bullied that much, was I? Oh, you were thoroughly bullied. Almost harder than I ever got bullied. Well, I was beaten up back in the day, and I was traumatized for life by it, more or less. Uh... God damn it, this... 
this this novel brings out the worst memories ever back out of my past. This is not healthy. I mean, it had just been for two days. Oh yeah, only two days. I'm sure there are people out there who go through way more difficult stuff every day. Yeah, the problem is... I think I already thought about this. Yeah, we are in a first world country the f and we have first world problems like this. And in other countries, people and ch childs are starving. But it's always hard to compare this if you are not in the situation, I think. So, I mean, if we say that we are in a third world country where we can live in lux luxus, or in luxury, I think is the right word, then something like this shouldn't be there. So, I don't know. It's hard to compare third and first and second world countries to each other. You can only see them individual, I think. Of course, you can always make a huge stretch with, oh, he is starving there, so this little bullying can't be bad for you. But what does it... I don't want to, to sound mean, but what does it matter to me if I currently have that problem? I mean, if they want me to be the future, or, well, in this case, Kenichi to be the future, and I get already traumatized, and if that maybe wouldn't happen, maybe I would I would become one of those people who help those people in the third world countries. And just because of bullying in a first world country that I lose already myself in humanity in this school. In this school, which is supposed to be fun and a place of wisdom and learning. If I already lose my face in humanity there, then there is no hope for the world, for the third world country, for some to help. I mean, imagine every, the, imagine this in, in the multiverse theory. There are strings for every decision you make. If you don't get bullied, you go that path. If you are, if you are not getting bullied, you get that path. And if you're just a little, but you can't stand up for yourself, you go a total different path. So, so one of those pairs could benefit then the third world countries or whatever. Uh, it's, real, it's really a long stretch, but, but I think that's... I just try to justify how the problems we have here can also reflect bad on the problems on other countries. Because if we already lose our faith in humanity by, by some bullies and kids like that, then we cannot grow up to to be social and helpful to other people. At least not all of us. Some have a really strong character, and they are the third option that go an entire that get bullied, but can't stand up for themselves and form their own their own defense for that, or something like this. Does it make any sense? I don't know. I, I think I just continue here now. Why am I so weak? Is it my fault? I feel a sinking sensation in my stomach. Never meant to do anything wrong. But maybe there are things that are crimes regardless of your intentions? Ew, you'd really... I feel a biting sensation in my stomach. To think of it, I need... Come to think of it, Onichan and I used to come here all the time. She'd always show me that back of hers and tell me to become a fine man. If Onichan were here, I'm sure she'd say something like, Really? Bullying? Come on. You'll just look back on this and laugh once you're an adult. Nechan always looked to the future. But I have to wonder if that's okay. You forget all about it once you grow up. Time heals all wounds. When people say stuff like that, I kinda think that they are just trying to escape from their reality. Yep, I pretty much can confirm this line as false. And this line as well. 
I still suffer from a wound from three years ago, even though it's not physical, and forget all about it once you've grown up. Nope, I still have the traumata from my school days. They're just trying to escape from their reality. I think that's why I like this game so much, or this novel. It, it really reflects well on society and what is all wrong with it. It's really getting, I mean, it's, it's almost sad considering how old this game is and how well it reflects still how society works. I'm hurting right here, right now. I can't endure just a little bullying right here, right now. I'm hurt right here, right now. I can't look ahead to the future. Wow, this has gotten so deep. I'm hurting right here, right now. This is something I could say. That could be my mantra. I'm hurt right here, right now. I can't look ahead to the future. I'm hurting right here, right now. Help, help me, Monique Chan. I'm walking on the mountain path that leads to school. Natsumi-chan is not by my side. I took yesterday off from school. I didn't want to go to school before meeting Natsumi-chan. But now, I don't want to go for an entirely different reason. I had felt really uneasy. But just a little hopeful. I had felt really uneasy, but just a little hopeful. Going to school with Natsumi-chan, talking to her, playing together. Right now, I don't want to see Natsumi-chan. I don't want her to see my lame side, like when I'm being bullied. And I don't want to worry her either. Natsumi-chan comes running up to me as soon as I reach the school gate. I start feeling miserable as soon as I hear her footsteps. Ohayou. Good morning! Yokata. <laughs> Oh, you are better now. That's great. Yeah. Hey, I was even on time today. Living without me is totally unfair. Well, you're Kenchan after all. You probably figured I went on ahead of you, didn't you? Not that. I hadn't said anything. She came up with that one on her own. <laughs> so that Omotta. She I thought so. Natsumi chan speaks to me cheerfully. But all I can do is not in response. Today's gonna be so much fun! Together again at last! Come on, how can you not tell this girl anything? I mean everything. I mean she she's totally the one who would help you. Swallow your false pride and let yourself be helped. I mean you would ask your sister for help. Why not her? Atsumi chan. That's I'm it was so boring without you here. Let me tell you. If you are with me, I'm sure you end up being troubled as well. And above all else, I don't want to cause trouble for Natsumi-chan. I want Natsumi-chan to stay cheerful. I don't want someone like me to end up causing her trouble. Lunch break. I'm trying to be as inconspicuous as possible today, so that no one has an excuse to bully me. But I'm still pretty jumpy. I can't shake the feeling that someone will call out to me, or suddenly put their hand on my shoulder. I pay careful attention to where I'm walking, and keep an eye on my surroundings. Maybe that's how I've managed to stay safe until lunchtime. Or maybe they are just tired of picking on me. Or maybe they won't bother me as long as I don't stand out. Anyway, I hope I can keep going like this. I'd like to forget about all of that. Oh, 
Jump! It was Natsumi-chan. Gee, that greeting had made me think that she was a boy. This looks good tomorrow. Yeah. So, if you're free, would I come mountain climbing with me? What that? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. I make the biggest lunch you've ever seen tomorrow. Look forward to it. I put in an omelette, green peppers, eggplant, cucumber. Natsumi-chan happily recites the menu to me. You shouldn't do that, Natsumi-chan. If someone sees you talking to me like this, I catch sight of someone out of the corner of my eye. It's the boy who Natsumi-chan turned down. He's giving me this really menacing stare. And the kids standing around him are all smiling. Natsumi-chan! What? Um... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make sure to pack enough for both of us. This isn't the time to be joking around. That's enough. Ah. Just leave me alone. What the heck am I saying? I lash out at her without rhyme or reason. I grab my bag and run out of the classroom. Turn my back on everyone and everything and walk all the way home. Everything will be fine as long as I'm not there. Those boys will be satisfied. Natsumi chan won't get into any trouble. And I'll. It's simple. Everything will be okay, okay, as long as I don't try to set my sights too high. Natsumi chan is out of my league. The next day, I'm never going to leave my house again. I'll stay in sight forever. Father is reading a book in his study. Guess he's not interested in me. I'm starting to think that I'm only truly happy when I'm bundled up in my futon. Yeah, it's so nice. Just sleeping the day away in my futon. Sleep. Happiness. Yeah! <laughs> Morning, Ken-chan! Almost sounds like someone is calling out to me. When you're need son, let me sleep today is my day off. Okay, Wake up! Just five more minutes. You're in there, aren't you? Huh? No, it's not on it, chan it's a visitor. Let's go mountain climbing. It's Natsumi-chan. Hey, come on. I don't know what I should say to her. Tell her the truth. I just pretend that I'm not here. No, no one's here. I didn't actually say that, of course. J just leave me alone. Again, I wasn't dumb enough to actually say that. I made our lunches! Maybe Natsumi-chan is a stubborn type. But it's impossible. Natsumi-chan. I can't face the world anymore. There are too many painful things outside. <laughs> I can't do anything without my sister. So please, just leave me alone. I'm sure Natsumi-chan will start feeling silly for worrying about me if I just keep pretending that I'm not here. Just leave me alone. Natsumi-chan keeps calling my name. I don't step outside or respond. But she just keeps talking. I ate this really delicious meal with my mom today. I ate this really delicious meal with my mom today. 
絶対今日のはうまくできてる。え、マム、ヘッミメイカーはランチ too。つかなびあわすん。セミがたくさんいるよ。ねえねえ、見てみて。Come on, there are a ton of kikaras out there. Come check them out. ああ、なんの話だっけ ?What were we talking about again? まあいいや。とにかく山はね、去年は家族で行ったきりだから。Well, Whatever. Anyway, I went to the mountains with my family last year. It's so fun. 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 I'm sure it'll be a bunch of fun. The wind is really strong, and the sky is totally clear. I envy Natsumi-chan. She can talk about anything with a smile on her face. I don't have anything that I like talking about. Not like she does. You see, she's probably only worried about me because she pities me. Oh, not this shit again. Well, double this shit again because my, my, some of, one of my lamps are blinking and I don't know which one. Because I'm so weak, pathetic, and unhappy. <laughs> Being pitied by a girl my own age. That's really lame. Doesn't pity you, she likes you and she wants to help you. It's really, really lame. You know what's lamer? Feeling sorry for myself like this. Come on, let's go to the mountains! I won't listen to this any longer. Pull the futon over my head and try to drown out Natsumi chan's voice. Just please, no more. Please, just leave me alone. I lie underneath the futon and cry. Natsumi doesn't stop calling for me. Early the next day, the waning of the Kikaras wakes me up. I guess I fell asleep yesterday. It's not not to me chan up to, I wonder. I can't hear her voice anymore, at least. Thank goodness. I think I'll start the day with a glass of water. I go down the stairs and head for the kitchen. You have to pass by the front door to get to the kitchen. Let me guess, she's lying there on the front door. I come to a stop in front of the door. There's no way she's still there, is there? Oh yeah, she cares about you. What if I open the door and Natsumi-chan is standing there? Gulp. Timidly approach, approach the front door. <laughs> Here we go. I holler to get myself pumped up. Slide open the door. There's no way she waited an entire day. But when I open the door... Natsumi chan is. <laughs> For some reason, I just got a. Yeah. <sighs> ah! Oh, so you finally came out! <laughs> Oh, the day is not over. She greets me with a grand yawn. She wipes her eyes sleepily with a big grin on her face, just like I had thought she would be. I feel nervous, terrible, and restless. I want to disappear. Natsumi chan had waited for me all night long. Oh, she waited all the night? What? No, even longer than that. I'm happy, of course. Of course I'm happy, but I also feel that I've done something very bad. I was here all night! She giggles and presses a finger against her lips. <laughs> it was fun sleeping outside. Hopefully it was warm. Is, is there currently almost summer? That would be great, otherwise it, she could get a cold out of this. 
もう怖くてドキドキしてすっごい楽しかったよ。ちょっとした肝試しだね。It gets pitch black at night here, so I was really scared. My heart was racing, but it was really fun. I got to see how brave I was. Matsumi-chan isn't trying to blame me. She isn't mentioning how I had barricaded myself inside, or how I pretended not to be there. She doesn't look confused or angry either. She just had fun waiting for me. Anyway. Kenchan's の pajama 姿可愛いね。You look pretty cute in your pajamas, Ken. I think that Natsumi-chan is being nice to me because she knows I'm being bullied. ねえねえ。Hey hey. She suddenly grabs my hand. Once you go mountain climbing now? もうお弁当はダメになっちゃったかもしれないけどね。山にはゲラゲラだけが生えていてね。ゲラゲラだけ食べるとゲラゲラって笑っちゃうのよ。ゲラゲラ。ゲラゲラ。ゲラゲラ。They make you ゲラゲラ。That lunch I made isn't good anymore, but they had these. Mushrooms that grow on the mountains. When you eat kira kira mushrooms, they make you go kira kira. So, so they are basically laughing mush mushrooms. This girl is kind of weird. Maybe she's just eccentric. I mean, she has nothing to gain from hanging out with me. Sleepy. So, just why does she bother with me? Because she really likes you. I kind of feel like asking her that. Let's go. Anthony, yatta. Really? All right. I want to know just why she's smiling. Oh, it seems I'm not as. As heavy as I would like to be, I, my nose is still a little bit stuffy. Although I can't really sneeze. The sky is as clear as a polished window. There are just a few clouds on the horizon. Guess whoever polished the window had missed them. Ken-chan, te, yappari taeryuk mo arun da ne. You've really got a lot of stamina, huh, Ken-chan? I should be telling you that, Natsumi-chan. She's this energetic. She's this energetic, even though she spent the night sleeping in front of my house. Ah, the view from the side is beautiful. Look how beautiful the view from here is. She jumps up and down like a baby bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. I still feel a little down, little down though. Ne ne, Yahoo! Te sakin de miyo yo. Hey, let's try shouting Yahoo from here. Yeah, there's something I want to ask before we do that. Yahoo! Ken-chan, mo, isu ni ne? Yahoo! Ken-chan, let's do it together. Yahoo! Natsumi-chan. Huh? Don't shut no. Yahoo, shinai no. What's wrong? You're not going to Yahoo. Can I ask you something? Nani ka na, nani ka na. Oh, what is it? What is it? She's she's sightless. She's sitless, sitless up to me in a really cute way. Is being with me. I sigh. Fun. Tanoshi yo. It's fun. How? I don't like how easily he was. She responded to that. Everyone is picking on me, you know. They might pick on you too if you're with me. Doesn't that bother you? But besides, I'm stupid. I'm not good at sports. I don't know any funny jokes. I can't speak very well, and I always stammer. Hey, he's almost like me. I also stammer all the time. Well, 
that's because I'm not used to the language. But I think I even stammer in German as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I exist or not. So there's no merit in hanging out with me. Merit? What's a merit? She suddenly interrupts me. Um, like a profit, you know? Gaining something. Oh, that's amazing! You know all these hard words, even though you haven't been going to school. Why is that? Because my sister taught me a bunch of stuff. Wait, enough about me! <laughs> Ken-chan got angry! She's joking around. Well, you're a weird kid, Matsumi-chan. Him? Weird? Just what is it that's so fun? <sighs> Why are you always smiling? Is your life that interesting? Um, I don't think I'm really having fun. I think it's more like I'm satisfied. Oh, I know that feeling. Satisfied? What is she talking about? It's more satisfying to hang out with me than with the popular kids. So you can't just knock the net. No, n not that sort of feeling. That sort of feeling? What is that supposed to mean? I think you're too sentimental, Natsumi-chan. Oh, another hard word. She giggles. Uh, I want to know more about you, Natsumi-chan. The wind carries Natsumi-chan sent to me. This is again a beautiful shot. Even though her arm looks a little bit weird there. It looks like it's bent the wrong way. <laughs> I have the feeling I give Ken a way too annoying voice, but I think, I don't know, is his voice too annoying? Is it too, is it too like childish and it just contrasts with a lot of other people? Or is it fine like I do his backflash voice or should I proceed to just get a normal voice out there, well, almost normal, with a little bit more oomph behind it. And not this whiny voice, but I think the whiny voice suits him because he self-pities so much. So, I don't know, I never really ask about that and I could have annoyed a lot of people. Um, anyway. Summer comes, it gets hotter, it rains a bit. The fields are lush, the wind carries in the scent of greenery. I have a friend like Kenshan with me. Nothing changes, but I'm happy with the way things are. The girl takes my hand. I can't really put it into words too well. But the way things are, everything is really enjoyable. There are so many pleasant things to discover. You just look, and there are laughing voices no matter where you are. Warms run through my entire body. Natsumi-chan. Ken-chan? The yellow ribbon sways in the wind. So, Ken-chan. I'm really happy being with you. Really happy? Ken-chan ga ne. Ii da yo. I'm really happy being with Ken-chan. Huh? Why? Don't understand. 
What are you saying? Just what part of me makes her happy? Natsumi-chan, that's a little strange. Please explain what about me makes you happy. Ken-chan? The fingers twine around my hand. But Natsumi-chan... Ino! It's okay! Natsumi-chan, I'm totally worthless! I'm a coward, I'm really shy, I end up shutting myself up in my room just because I... just because I get picked on a little. I'm a terrible person! So, you're not allowed to be friends with someone who shuts themselves up in the room because they get picked on? You are not allowed to be friends with someone unless you gain something from it? That's not true, but I think it'd be really boring if you were... This kid is really strange. It's impossible. There's no way a girl like this can actually exist. Well, he is kind of right about that, but if you... Ken-chan is good. Ken-chan, you make me happy. I I think I might even like you. Ken-chan. Um, Ken-chan? I'm so embarrassed that I can't look her in the eyes. Ken-chan, you complimented my women, didn't you? That made my heart skip a beat. I was so happy. That was just... She's starting to make me feel guilty. So, right then and there, I decided I would be friends with you. That's why... Her eyes look a little misty. Ken-chan I'm really glad that you came out of your house. Oh, come on. Oh, this shot is better. I think there are tears now that weren't there before. Really? I simply cannot understand the girl in front of me. I have no idea what to do here. About the women, I was just really nervous then, so I said whatever came to mind. I didn't really mean it or anything. In other words, I had just wanted Natsumi-chan to like me. But it made me happy. Regardless of what you were thinking, you made me happy. She squeezes my hand tightly. I just wanted to treasure that moment. ケンちゃんは人すごい優しいんだよ。優しくてすごい頭がいいからいつも周りに気を使っちゃうんだよ。だからちょっぴり損することもあるっていうだけ。I know that you're really kind, Ken. You're really smart and really kind. So you end up caring too much about what's going on around you. So you end up losing out on some things. She's acting like I'm a very valuable person. That's an exaggeration. And I have the feeling she's talking to me right now. Oh god, is this the first kind the first sign of true madness? If you were to look at it objectively, I'm sure 100 out of 100 people was, would say that I'm boring and useless. But Natsumi-chan doesn't look for faults in me. She just interprets things in her own way. 
call me Nakchan from now on, okay? She looks straight at me. Her eyes are more brilliant than the midsummer sun. Huh? Yeah, I get it. My mom calls me Nakchan too. This girl is kind of stupid. <laughs> really? Yeah, I get it. She's just stupid. That's why she hangs out with me. So that's the solution. Just find a stupid girl who likes you. But don't treat her badly. No, she's not stupid. You're different. She's someone who gives others strength without even realizing it. She's a straightforward sort of idiot. What a nice way to describe a person. Uh, uh, not but that's really, but that's really pleasant. <laughs> I won't forget this. Even if I do grow up and come to believe that being bullied is no big deal. I will always, always remember how this girl's palm feels. Her warmth fills my heart ever so gently. Nakcha. Kencha. Dot 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 dot. Oof. All right then. Perfect timing to end the episode here. I really liked how this turned out. Solution to all my problems is find a stupid girl, but a straightforward stupid girl. Which just likes me for being me and not what other things about me. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. And I will so hopefully see you then in the next episode. Stay tuned.